హలో డియర్ స్టూడెంట్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు దేవికస్ కామర్స్ అండ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ అకాడమీ డిపార్ట్మెంటల్ అకౌంట్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఫ్రమ్ వన్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ టు వన్ డిపా అనదర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ వీఆర్ సీయింగ్ దెర్ ఆర్ టూ మెథడ్స్ వన్ ఈస్ కాస్ట్ బేస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ సెకండ్ వన్ ఈస్ మార్కెట్ బేస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ కాస్ట్ బేస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ వీ హ్యావ్ సీన్ ఇన్ ద లాస్ట్ క్లాస్ టుడే విల్ సీ మార్కెట్ బేస్ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ మార్కెట్ బేస్ మీన్స్ జనరల్ యాజ్ ఫర్ ద మార్కెట్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద ప్రైస్ maybe 10% 20% maybe something got increased cost i have purchased it for 1 lakh now market price maybe 1 lakh 10000 1 lakh 20000 whatever it may be so the cost increased from 1 lakh 10000 to 1 lakh 20000 whatever it may be maybe 1 lakh 10000 1 lakh 20000 whatever it may be so that transfer that transfer means market based transfer we will see today one simple problem will work out very easy to understand with this we are going to finish departmental account by the way check out the playlist there are many subjects already covered okay so whatever is useful now coming to the problem the problem is given on the desktop so i'll read the problem reading the problem is very important there you can understand the problem very clearly then after that you can go for the solution so first let me read the problem the problem is said that from the following particulars prepare departmental trading and profit and loss account in columnar form for the two departments and thereafter the combined income account in combined income account of uh, johar traders limited for the year ended 31st march 2009 what is given to us information related to the department a and then department b first one is 14208 stock 14208 means this is opening stock opening stock trading account debit side purchases from outside purchases anyhow it is trading account debit side wages wages also trading account debit side wages are separately given department a and department b so no headache at all simply as it is will transfer it to the department a and b next salary is also given separately 3600 to 2400 this comes in the profit and loss account debit side transfer from department a from department a from department a to b this is transfer 50000 transfer means both the sides will write debit side and credit side transfer from department a means b is receiving b's account at r to a's account entry is this will be posting into the trading account next closing stock this will write in the trading account credit side sales to the outsider sales trading account credit side up to here the problem is clear now coming to the adjustments the entire closing stock of department b represents goods transferred from department a at cost plus 20% the entire closing stock of department b how much is the entire closing stock of department b that is 12000 check out closing stock of b 12000 this is transferred from department a this is transferred from department a at cost plus 20 percent cost is 100 plus 20 percent it comes to 120 isn't it 120 will be the added cost so this you are going to calculate it how much is extra loading just like consignment account this we are going to calculate just for keep it with you we'll see the calculations later next what they are saying administrative and selling expenses amounted to 14000 which is to be allocated between the two departments in the ratio of 60 to 1 the said 60 to 1 we have to divide we'll divide it and we'll give it to the department a and b as per the 60 to 1 ratio expenses are given 14000 no problem at all here also next an amount of 3000 is due for interest on debentures of the company this amount amount of 3000 is due on interest on debentures interest on debentures to be paid how do we pay to the a and b that is not mentioned not mentioned means we'll open once again combined profit and loss one just like previous problem prepare the profit and loss account you are getting profit something on the debit side net profit net profit is transferred to the next combined profit and loss account net profit debit to credit there you are going to write 3000 rupees interest on debentures debit side you will write and also loading amount of 20% also these two amounts comes in the profit and loss account that is combined profit and loss account please remember this point rest of the problem is normal to save the time already i have done just i'll explain it and will keep tick mark so it will be easy for you to understand now coming to the problem uh, the problem is here 
ट्रेडिंग एंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट ऑफ डिपार्टमेंट ए एंड बी डिपार्टमेंट ए एंड बी एंड लेटर जनरल प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट दट इज कंबाइंड प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट लेटर विल प्रिपेयर नाउ राइट नाउ यू विल पोस्ट ईच एंड एवरी आइटम ओपनिंग स्टॉक थर्टी थाउजेंड फाइव थाउजेंड वी आर पोस्टिंग हियर थर्टी थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टी थाउजेंड ओपनिंग स्टॉक इज ओवर नेक्स्ट परचेज टू लैख फाइव थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड डेबिट साइड परचेज टू लैख फाइव थाउजेंड एंड ट्वेंटी थाउजेंड दिस इज ऑल्सो पोस्टेड नेक्स्ट वेजेस टेन थाउजेंड एंड वन थाउजेंड टू वेजेस टेन थाउजेंड एंड वन थाउजेंड नेक्स्ट सैलरीज दट कम्स इन द प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस अकाउंट डेबिट साइड टू सैलरीज थ्री थाउजेंड सिक्स हंड्रेड टू थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ए नाउ जस्ट यू हैव टू बी केयरफुल ट्रांसफर फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ए डिपार्टमेंट ए टू बी ट्रांसफरिंग सो बी डेटा टू ए दिस इज द एंट्री बी इज डेबिटिंग सो डेबिट साइड बी इज अकाउंट यू आर राइटिंग ट्रांसफर अमाउंट फिफ्टी थाउजेंड B is debiting. So debit side, you are writing transfer amount fifty thousand. What do you write? Two A. Opposite one. Here A is crediting. So credit side, you are saying transfer A is account fifty thousand. Okay, A is account fifty thousand. What do you say? B transfer B is account. Am I clear about B? A transfer. This is you know the previous class also we have done. So transfer is over. Next. Closing stock thirty five thousand twelve thousand. We'll write thirty five thousand and twelve thousand. Next sales two uh, two lakh and seventy thousand. Two lakh and seventy thousand. Clear. Everything is over. If we conclude this, uh, we are getting uh, gross profit of forty thousand and six thousand. This is transferred here debit to credit. And debit side already we have written uh, salaries. And uh, coming to the adjustments, uh, there is administrative and selling expense adjustments. Administrative and selling expenses fourteen thousand, which is to be allocated between the two departments six is to one. Fourteen thousand into six by seven, you'll get twelve thousand. Fourteen thousand into one by seven, you'll get two thousand. Means which ratio six is to one ratio. 60 issue one ratio we have divided administrative and selling expenses and uh, interest on debentures weight to allocate that is not given so we'll take final profit and loss account right now we have credit side this entry debit side salaries and administrative expenses nothing to write so to close the account 40000 minus these two amounts i got 24400 and here 6000 minus these two amounts Got sixteen thousand. After that, we are opening general profit and loss account, our common profit and loss account. What do we do? Net profit transfer it from debit to credit. How much net profit you got? Twenty four thousand four hundred plus sixteen hundred. Together, I am writing net profit twenty four thousand four hundred plus sixteen hundred comes to twenty six thousand transferred. There is one more entry that is uh, interest. First thing they said. Uh, Interest on debentures, three thousand adjustments they have given. An amount of three thousand is due for interest on debentures. Way to write in the profit and loss account that is not given, so we are writing in the final profit and loss account or common profit and loss account or you can say general profit and loss account. I am writing here interest on debentures which is given in the adjustment three thousand. So there is no allocation, so I am writing in general profit and loss account debit side. Apart from that, first. Bit in the adjustments, what they are saying, the entire closing stock of Department B represent goods transferred from Department A at cost plus twenty thousand. Uh, sorry, cost plus twenty percent. Entire closing stock of Department B. Department B entire closing stock is here twelve thousand. Twelve thousand is twenty percent. Cost plus they have said. Here we need to calculate unloading amount. Loading is there. We have to make unloading because to know the exactly profit. Here the calculations can be done like this. Cost plus twenty percent they said. If it is one twenty, cost is hundred plus twenty percent means one twenty percent. For one twenty percent profit is how much? Twenty percent. For twelve thousand, it is how much? 
means 12,000 into 20 by 120. You will get loading amount. If you see the calculation, uh, so you are getting loading amount of 2000. This is the extra amount added. Actual amount is how much? In 12,000 loaded 2000. It means actual cost is 10,000 only. 2000 is here loaded amount. A loaded amount you have to deduct it now. So I am writing here on the debit side. What we are what we are writing provision against unrealized profit. Provision against unrealized profit on stock calculations I have shown you. 12,000 into 20 by 120. You are getting 2,000. This is loaded amount. Deducting. Extra amount is loaded. Actually, it is 10,000 only. 20 plus cost plus 20 percent. That is 2,000 is added. 2,000 we are deducting. There is nothing else to write here. We have written only two items in the general profit and loss account. One is dividend. Second one is loaded amount. 2,000 it comes. So, 26,000 minus 21. These two amounts you are getting 21,000. This is final net profit. That's all. In this problem, main important aspect is that everything is normal. Same like previous problem. Only this one you have to remember. Closing stock, something is loaded. How much it is loaded? They are saying closing stock from B. Uh, it is 20 plus cost plus 20 percent is added. Cost plus 20 means extra amount is added. 12,000 it is, but this is not correct. 20 percent plus is added. So, to remove that extra 20 percent, we have done this calculation. Once if you do the calculation, that amount, the loaded amount is to be deducted in the profit and loss account, final profit and loss account or general profit and loss account debit side, you are writing that loaded amount. With this, you are getting exactly the net profit, how much you got it. Clear? Simple. Here logic you have to understand, rest of the problem is normal. Transfer, uh, transfer one also, you got it very clearly. Transfer from one department to another one, just like contra entry. Whenever whoever is transferring, uh, receiving department is debiting and uh, sending department will be creating. Debit the receiver, create the giver in the same way. You will write the general entry and then posting carefully, you do it. Rest of the problem is very simple. With this, departmental account is finished. You can take out lots of problems from your material. Whatever may be your course, CA, CMA, CS, BCom. MCOM, everyone, for everyone, departmental account is common. It is must and mandatory. So, take out your material, work out more problems. Basics, I got it with four classes. Am I clear? And also check out the playlist. Whatever is useful, use it. Don't forget to share these videos. By the way, let me know, are you feeling comfortable in departmental accounting? Easy, na? Departmental easy, branch account easy, higher purchases, everything is easy. Stay connected, practice well and have a bright career. Good luck. Take the screenshot.